Well, I've got to say, I had a really exciting day today. Um, got a suntan, feel a little bit burnt on the old face. Um, and do you know what? A little bit frustrated because the blinds fell down. How can the blinds fall down? And five minutes previous to that, I moved the sofa. And if I didn't move that sofa two seconds after that, Ben would have had them blinds go straight on top of him and they are them really wooden blind things. This is when you do need people in your life and you think to yourself, like I'm thinking right now is, how the heck are we gonna go on for so many weeks like this? without um, our government doing something, uh, giving us tests. Because I'm going to tell you now, I have a rotten freaking cold. And it's gone onto my chest anyway, because it always does. And in my left ear, they always do. And my eye keeps twitching like that. <coughs> like a little freak. Um, sorry about the real muffed up hair. I thought it looked great myself. I mean, this is lovely and personal to Boris himself and the government, everyone, right, listen to us, I'm a care provider, provide care to brain, spine injury, injury, sorry, not injury, injury, right, and whatever else, uh, who, whoever else, and even the dogs I look after, there's five dogs, I look after them, so, you know what, does that not prove which can into it does that not prove that we working people no matter if you're disabled or undisabled or whatever whatever kids skin color it doesn't even matter to us it's not about anything like that it's about trying to save our lives i am trying to save people's lives out there could you please help 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 Say something in Parliament, please, about ventilated people in the community. Because if I'm going through this now, when I've been here for two weeks, and you've got to remember, I've done isolation for a long time now. Um, and Ben was isolated on... Uh, he's been isolated for, like, six... It's up to six weeks now. With his, I'm trying to count these weeks. I don't even think I can count them anymore. I've lost, lost count. Boris Johnson, sorry, Boris Johnson, you do need, I know you've got COVID-19 and I'm sure a lot of people are going to have COVID-19, including myself probably at this bloody rate. If you do not do, do something about it and send test kits out for us care workers, because you know what? You see this mask is ripped, it's torn, it's whatever but I'm still using it because that's what we're being told to do. Um, but luckily for me, I've got more masks, but these people out there haven't. That's why I'm giving mine away, Boris. Now, don't you think you should give us tests, test kits? You know you've got them. Um, I know the hospitals come first. I uh, do understand, especially intensive care units, especially ventilated people, but I'm on about these ventilated people out in the community. I don't know where to look. Somebody's going to have to teach me. Um, it does need to be said. You're going to kill these a lot of people if you don't do something about it. Um, and people will get petrified. And you will get... The government will get more phone call after more phone call. Blah, blah, blah. This is how I feel today. Frustrated. This video is not going up because I really, really am feeling weak. <sighs> because you guys out there are all right, aren't you? Because you've all got like probably little jabs that you've already had your little jabs, you know, and it's already, you've already been tested. You're, the, what you call it? I forgot because I'm so flipping tired. <sighs> Um, because it's my time right now, and my time I try to try to do my meditation, do my relaxing, but I've just got to do a video, just not even to put out there, but I just need to do a video of frustration. Uh, you sent me tubing in a plastic bag.
bag and a mask. Right, I don't know whether we can cut this video. You sent me a tube and a mask, right, that I can't, it's unfit to put in somebody's lungs. Do you not understand that? What do you think? I am untalented or something that I am going to go and just shove this plastic mask and uh, vent tube in on my son when it's gone from a hospital and it wasn't even in a bag. What kind of NHS are you? Um, is that what you're going to do? Is send these tubing, ventilated tubing and masks out to general public, us, uh, to have loved ones, right? And I am getting really peed, peed with it because I am, that's, I'm not accepting that. I'm taking a photo, I'm going to take a video because my tubing, tubing that I've had to put by myself, I want to swear at you. Wanna... Get your act together, please. I de decontaminate everything. What do you think? I am going to eat. I'm not going to decontaminate your dirty stuff. The mask looks like it's been worn, I've got to say. And I'll be honest with you. I've never seen a mask like it. And the head restraints and whatnot. And then the vent tubing. Like I said, I'm having a rant. I don't like it. If you're going to send vent tubing out without it being in some form of bag, and and that's got rans, that's rancid, that is, because I know how hospitals work. Don't think I don't, because I do. And I, well, I'm just having a right, right rant at the moment because of the tubing. Um, I'm going to take that tubing down that I said thank you for, which I do thank you for, I'm sorry to say. I shouldn't be ungrateful, but how dare you have the 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 balls to send me? I'm just going to send this you, Lorna, because I am really pissed, pissed off. Um, I mean, I'm have, like I'm saying, I'm having to wear this more and more and more because I've got a cough. Um, at, I'm, I don't, I haven't got COVID. I don't think. I hope I haven't. We ain't got fucking tests anyway to fucking find out if I have or haven't. But I am coughing and I have got a cold. Um, no temperature. And, you know, but... <laughs> Hello? Uh, tubing. Tubing. I need staff. I do staff with a test. That'll do. Not thicking tubing. That is... I've never seen nothing like it. I have lived and breathed and worked and God knows what in hospitals and intensive care units. And I'm telling you now, I've never seen nothing like that scum thing that you sent me out. Thanks, Heartlands. You already stripped my son off, actually, Heartlands respiratory without even sending me a letter. And you stripped him from the hospital because... I had to put a protocol in place. Me put a protocol because I had your doctors, your SHOs on that ward at the same hospital, Heartlands again. Uh, you know, Heartlands, Birmingham, you know, tried to kill my son in front of me. I am angry. I have seen all these things. I do know too much, I suppose. But you know what? At the end of the day... What somebody's gonna have to worry about so, these people out there, and if it's if it's gonna be anyone, it'll be me, cause I am thicking ranting right now, cause I just do not understand why the bloody hell you sent me this this tubing that you were just stuck in a bit of plastic, and you expect me to put that tubing on my ventilator, my son's vent, right? I'm going to need a ventilator at this rate myself in, in a minute because I'm having a hyperventilating and an oscillator, if you know what one of them is, right? But I'm going to tell you now, do you understand out there what you are doing to these people right now? I know I've done it for weeks. Now, I've prepped. I've got stuff. I've told you this. You should be giving me my stuff now. I'm not doing it no more. I've had enough. The NHS... I've had enough. You actually balls my son up, right? And right now, 
You've bossed him up. I've gone through many, 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 many difficult years with him. And you think I'm going to lose him over ventilator tubing. That is absolutely disgusting. Okay. I've ranted.